Houston, right? That's correct. Hey, how so you doing, Willie? Long time no see, man. Yeah, buenas, buenas. <laughs> it's always good to see you. <laughs> hey, you know, last week uh, Arlene Steffi had a debut of, uh, of course, the uh, the filming, uh, the um, I guess oral history of the survivors of Manyangan. But before we we talk a little bit about that, the genesis of the foundation. The genesis of the foundation actually just started when I was a young boy mm -hmm. and, and when several of the people in the foundation mm -hmm. were young. Uh, some of our foundation members actually mm -hmm. original, actually were in Manengan mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. on their way to Manengan. Yeah. So as you, as you know, mm -hmm. you and I listened to these stories mm -hmm. and it, it, it stirred something up inside us, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. And it stirred feelings of anger, stirred mm -hmm. feelings. And then mm -hmm. as I got older, I said... And well, it still does. And it still does. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. can't talk about Manengan. Yeah or Tinta or Faha or any of those places mm -hmm. without, you know, sure. feeling something. But then I said, wait a minute. As I read through the accounts, I said, there's nothing being told about this thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I said, okay, we're going to start. I, yeah, as a young man, I drew pictures and sketches mm -hmm. and all that. And uh, then said, we have to do something. Um, and when I became a senator, um, it actually, it wasn't the office of the senator that enabled us to mm -hmm. do it, but it actually connected me with Rita Frankis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And little have been, been, you know, I did not know that Rita had talked to someone to donate land for this memorial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Rita and I were talking one day about some bill that she wanted to pass, and I said, forget that, that's boring. As you know, sure, you know, sure, as sure, a senator, sure, sure, you, sure. You, you have some exciting stuff, and then you have some stuff that's pretty mm -hmm. mundane. Mm -hmm. Not to say it's not important. Yeah. But I said, let's talk about Manengan. And that's when it started. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's people that have worked on Manengan, the late Silang Bamba, mm -hmm. you know, Senator Gordon Mayhew. There's a lot of people that sure, have worked on sure. this. But that meeting between Rita Frankis and I and the subsequent call to Dwight Look, mm -hmm. and I said, Dwight, where's the property, man? You, mm -hmm. you know, promise it. Sure. And uh, that was the genesis of the foundation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was it's strictly to honor the memories of what happened and make sure that our children and our grandchildren mm -hmm. we are the sure. we are the sure. last generation right. to touch these people sure sure you know mm -hmm. um actually we, you know we have kids and grandkids mm -hmm. that will touch them but to touch them and understand what mm -hmm. they went through mm -hmm. uh we are the last generation we are the generation connected to the mm -hmm. post-war mm -hmm. um uh, recovery and so that was the genesis of it mm -hmm. yeah. so okay so so that being said of course every year prior to the uh, the uh, again uh, and not necessary because of its uh, of, of liberation, but there's of course there's the trek to 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 the to the memorial, mm -hmm. and treks to other places as well where where you know our people um, again where their lives ended. Right. You know, and so in 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 an annual basis that that happens. So uh, so again, let's let's forward to where we at uh, at, at this point with the, of course the the filming and and. Uh, and uh, the interview uh, with with the war survivors. My understanding is there um, um, over a hundred that were interviewed, right? I mean, la last week's debut showed that basically over a hundred. Some of them, quite a few of them, are no longer with us. That's correct. It took twelve years to to can this whole thing. That's correct. Yeah? That's correct. Um, and Arlene, uh, last week when she debuted her CD, mm -hmm. um, there were over 100. We've actually interviewed close to 200, 200 people. Okay. Yeah, but Arlene was able to mm -hmm. to catalog the 100 that she, the I believe it was like 114 mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. that she talked mm -hmm. to survivors. Um, and so she has she has cataloged that. And mm -hmm. so we now have a very important part of our oral history mm -hmm. on record, which mm -hmm. we did not have before. Mm -hmm. uh, so this that that was a very important debut for the people because you know, Jess, as you and I know. The end of World War II mm -hmm. was the last thing that the Chamorro people on Guam did together sure, as a group. Sure, sure, Whether sure. you were at Faha, Tinta, Fena, you know, Asinan, all mm -hmm, these places, mm -hmm. Mata, As Lucas, you yeah. know, Manengan. That was, you know, to coin a term, our last stand sure, as a people. Sure, sure. And so we emerged out of that. Mm -hmm. And when we emerged out of that, immediately because of the post-war recovery, mm -hmm. Our family structures and our inner mm -hmm. inner clan structures mm -hmm. began to disseminate and separate. Mm -hmm. So, the, I look at Menengan as uh, as uh, the the representative, not only of the atrocities of the war and how our people survived mm -hmm. it, but kind of as a last thing that we did together as mm -hmm. a people. You know, I, I know it's very important for the foundation uh, again to to can these these. Uh, it was very important for the foundation to to can these uh, uh, these these interviews in in their own words because I mean we're we're, we're living to still to still hear. Uh, firsthand a lot of the accounts of this okay and maybe some of our kids but maybe our grandkids when they get to our age they would probably no longer hear n the first person th these stories so you know again DVDs like this will be the only way they'll be able to hear I mean because we can't tell that story we weren't we weren't we weren't around we weren't alive when when, uh, when during the war that's yeah. right yeah 
and uh, that, that's that's very correct. And 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 so this was the this is the this was the hallmark, the culmination of an effort to do this. Mm -hmm. Now we know that there's other oral histories and written histories mm -hmm. that we have to to put together. Mm -hmm. But uh, this was a very important step for mm -hmm. the foundations, a very impor important step for our people, and mm -hmm. very very important step for the history of what happened here on Guam as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, uh, uh, last week when I had, uh, of course, uh, you know, Arlene Steffi on my show, my, my radio show, we, you know, of course, the, the museum that's going to be opening up, uh, um, you know, hopefully sometimes this year or early, early next year, will this be a part of the museum? Or would the, uh, is the what does the foundation have in, in its plans in regards to uh, a memorial per se by itself as a standalone. I mean, are you guys thinking of a, of a standalone memorial to, to, again, collectively put all these things together? I, I mean, what? You know, down the line, I mean, I know Willie's always up to something. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. The mind never stops working. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we actually do have a, a plan um, uh, for a standalone mm -hmm. memorial, and mm -hmm. that memorial includes, see, right now, we, right now, most of what people come in, and if you talk to some of the Manomco that were mm -hmm. at Manengan, they mm -hmm. say, hey, we weren't here. We were up there, there yeah, sure. or we were on the other side of the river. Mm -hmm. So our plan is to, of course, take this stuff. Uh, I don't know um, you will be talking to, or you've talked to ten Senator Munya Barnes, who's mm -hmm. always pushing mm -hmm. me about this is to get that, that we need to have that lookout on the top mm -hmm. because there was a bunch of people that said that the top was a very pleasant, very safe mm -hmm. place for them, mm -hmm. whereas down by the river in the valley mm -hmm. was where most of the atrocities and, and, the, mm -hmm. and the bad stuff occurred, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we need to take people up and around and down. Mm -hmm. uh, before we do that, we need to have the archaeologists go in there and see if what um, remnants of the camp, you know, we need to retain mm -hmm. because I'm sure there's places where there was Lidzang, I'm sure there's places where there was campfires sure, and sure. all that. So we need to catalog those first, mm -hmm. and we're working on that. Uh, and not just that as well. I mean, the ancient ancient sites too as well, that's right? That's right. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> that that yeah. predate that, that right? Predate that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So, so uh, again, uh, you have th those are plans down the line here, uh, yes. and uh, this is a, again part of of the. I mean. Not really the start because you started the foundation, right. but but this is a, a great accounting already of of, of that, uh, of all the uh, of all the the folks that that uh, are featured in this thing. What percent do you think that are 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 still with us? Wow, I looked at this list and it was you know it was uh, pretty emotional to look at mm -hmm. the list. Sure, sure. I think that there's of all the people here, we probably have about sixty percent left. Sixty percent. Yeah, sixty yeah. percent left. Yeah, yeah. And some of those sixty percent, you know, mm -hmm. a few of them, their memories are gone. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. hey. You know, um, uh, God was gracious and we were able to catch what we mm -hmm, were able to catch. Mm -hmm. So that story, that part of our mm -hmm. history, at least is cataloged mm -hmm. uh, perpetually. It, you know, uh, uh, Willie, this is not free to do. No. <laughs> not How is it made possible? Well, <laughs> we like to brag that, that we got Arlene started. You yeah, know, yeah, Arlene yeah. spent a lot of her money on sure, this, but sure. we... The foundation also paid her some money, mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. much. I mean, yeah. we only gave her, I think it was like $2,000. Yeah, yeah. And of course, we as a foundation say, sure. hey, Arlene, mm -hmm. we gave you $2,000. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's our stuff, <laughs> right? But um, it was possible through grants, and, and then Arlene spent some of her money, and the foundation, we spent mm -hmm. our money. And, I, and know her, I, I know her husband spent a lot of his <laughs> money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bob. <laughs> Bob. Well, yeah, yeah, Bob, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, you know, I mean, it was this, but, but you know, but when you go beyond the money issue, mm -hmm. um, Arlene will tell you herself mm -hmm. that, Whenever you do something like this, mm -hmm. the emotional cost, it, yeah. it's, it's unreal. Yeah. You know, it's unreal. And, and, and I know the, these, yeah. these CDs are, uh, DVDs are, are available. Um, Arlene had them available last week. Uh, right. The debut of, uh, of course, the, the, uh, the, the show, actually, at the University of Guam. Right. Uh, but they're available as, as well for sale. These are, what, 20 bucks, right? I I, uh, yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah, she, um, you know, um, that, that'll be up to Arlene. <laughs> well, hopefully, she'll return some of the proceeds yeah, to they're, the they're, they're <laughs> Return your $2,000. <laughs> <Yeah. yeah. laughs> Yeah. We, I always knew Willie was a big spender. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> yeah. Anyway, Willie, hey, I got to pay some bills to come back. We probably okay. only have time to say goodbye, but uh, man, this is a, a great thing. Great debut last week. Uh, uh, Manyengan, of course, March and Concentration Camp Survivor Account, July 20, uh, 12th to the 21st, 1944. Again, a film by Arlene uh, Santos Steffi, and of course, the foundation founder, former Senator Willie Forrest. We'll be right back.
Your community calendar is brought to you by Taco Bell. Whether it's your first meal or your fourth meal, we've got you covered. Taco Bell, live Moss. This program is brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. wants you to beat the holiday rush. Now for a limited time, enjoy great savings on popular Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Don't just catch the spirit of the holidays, capture it with GTA, your island, your network. As this year, 2015, the year of the Guam Memorial Hospital Volunteers 50th birthday draws to a close, we again remember our sponsors, our donors, and all our fellow island residents who have supported us over these many years. Because of your continued generosity, we are still able to help provide Guam Memorial Hospital patients with needed equipment and services to assist in their treatment and recovery. Thank you, Guam, for helping us celebrate these 50 wonderful years. And we look forward to serving the people of Guam year after year and look forward to your continued support in our many endeavors. We wish you a blessed holiday season and a prosperous new year. When you make it, when you reach the top, join an exclusive country club, acquire exotic automobiles, fill a garage, engage in investment banking, be a venture capitalist. Then when it's all said and done, head to a steakhouse. Your steakhouse. It's anything but traditional. A double portion of juicy marinated steak loaded with toppings and grilled to go. The new Boss Wraps, only at Taco Bell. When it comes to your health, you and your family deserve the best care. IHP Medical Group offers an extensive array of quality health services under one roof. Our experienced and dedicated staff of doctors and medical professionals specialize in family medicine, internal medicine, sports medicine, and women's health among your other needs. With the convenience of our Dededo location on Harmon Loop Road, we offer extended urgent care hours, a lab, pharmacy, and other services all in one place. Let us at IHP take care of you and your loved ones. Your health and well-being are important to us. Guam's auto appearance specialist, Elegant Reflections, has been providing the automotive industry with professional detailing and car care products at its highest quality from complete detailing, full interior detailing, exterior detailing, headlamp restoration, hand washing, seat and carpet shampoo, engine degreasing, undercarriage cleaning, paint sealant, fabric protection, paint oxidation removal, and so much more. Visit us at our new location. Call 646-5555 for an appointment. Elegant Reflections, Guam's auto appearance specialist. Over 20 years of experience. Feeling lucky? Win a new car at Shell. Fill up, earn points, and enter to win with your Lucky 7 card. Win a brand new Fiat Pop, Dodge Dart, Hyundai Tucson, or Jeep Wrangler. Four cars in all. Enter to win now. It's time for Shop Guam 2015. The Guam Visitors Bureau and more than 100 Shop Guam partners have teamed up to bring back the Shop Guam Festival going on now until February 15th. This annual interactive shopping experience highlights Guam as a fun, fashionable, and diverse shopping destination while giving our local community access to more than 200 deals and discounts with new only on Guam and event features. Look for the Shop Guam logo at your favorite stores, download the free Shop Guam mobile app, and enjoy incredible discounts on shopping, dining, and entertainment. When you unwrap the triple treat box from Pizza Hut, it'll turn any night into a holiday night. Two pizzas? Can we keep them? Ooh, breadsticks and a cookie. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle Can we keep him? Away. Introducing the triple treat box. Two medium pizzas, breadsticks, and a Hershey's cookie. Unwrap this incredible box at an incredible price, just $26.99. Only at Pizza Hut. 
Get FestPak 2016 raffle tickets for your chance to win $100,000 cash. The final drawing to be held on December 10th. Plus, every month till then, win more cash prizes. All proceeds will support FestPak 2016, hosted right here on Guam from May 22nd to June 4th, 2016. Support the biggest cultural event in Guam's history and win $100,000. For more info, visit GuamFestPak2016.com. When you come to Chuck E. Cheese's, you can see what's new. New fun! New game! New cousin! What's new? New awesomeness! Where a kid can be a kid! It's like on the other side. And you'll see all the rain clouds falling through. It's a revolution. The holidays are a time to reflect on the blessings that we had and to reach out to those in our community who are less fortunate. The KUAM Care Force invites you to join us in the season of giving by donating to our annual Thanksgiving food drive. Up until Tuesday, November 24th, we'll be collecting canned goods and other non-perishable food items for the Salvation Army's Food Bank and Cusina and Catalin Carada. So join us in the spirit of giving. You can drop off your non-perishable food items to our KUAM studios in Harmon any weekday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. up until November 24th. And if your school or organization or business would like to schedule a formal presentation of canned goods, please give us a call. The number is 637-6397. See you Masi, and thank you. You're watching Buzz with Jess Luha. And then Green Memorial Foundation founder, uh, former Senator Willie Flores, my in-studio guest. Willie, uh, about the foundation. Well, the foundation, Jess, I mean, you look at this video that we have here. The foundation is established solely for the purpose of honoring what our people went through in mm -hmm. World War II. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have to honor ourselves because if we can't honor our people ourselves, then we have no respect for ourselves. You look at this, it says Maningan, but we intend to do one for Chaguian, we intend to do one for Asinan, we intend to do one for Fena, Tinta, Faha, all of those places where these things occurred. There's one thing real interesting, the Lost Boys of Agat. That's something that nobody has ever cataloged. There were some boys from Agat sent to carry uh, munitions. They were supposedly on their way to Maningan and were lost somewhere never seen. Mm -hmm. So we, we, you know, we have all these things and so we need the people's help to bring us this information because we, you know, it has been a long and tedious process, but we need to push this information forward. The foundation is solely for the purpose of honoring the people who went through World War II on Guam. And, 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 and as a result of their strength, their unity, their perseverance, and their faith in God, we are here today. Willie, how can people get a hold of you to tell their stories and, and maybe you can follow them to, to Arlene or whoever is, is undertaking the writing or, or, or the filming, whatever it may be. Is there, is there a number? Or? Yes, please call me at 646-1714. Or you can also call the office of Senator Munya Barnes, 472-345556. Uh, and between our two offices, we'll be able to set something up. There we go. Right. And if you can't get a hold of them, get a, get a hold That's of correct. me, right? Yeah. right? Yeah. KUAM. Yeah. We always know where to find uh, yeah. Willie and Senator Barnes. Yes. They're both uh, relatives. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> anyway, Willie, man, thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Zeus Masi, I meet up na Thank you very much. It's always, uh, always, uh, always a pleasure to, to, to see you, and for, uh, most especially for the work that, that you guys have done and continue to do. Uh, again, I, I continue to learn. Yeah, how go much? Yeah. Right? <laughs> how go much, Jesse? And uh, how go much, Jesse? And I want to say, na si Zeus Masi pa KUM sa KUM haga si KUM masapot tiesti i i i punton maningun. Zai pata on rasia iman malofan na tempo zan ejesia iman ay nata. So si Zeus Masi loko Jesse at KUM. Yes, that's Zeus Masi. Hey, join me tomorrow morning in the buzz. It's plus sixty-three. We'll talk more about this or whatever else tickles your fancy. It's good night for now. <laughs>